Yo guys, welcome back to Catalyxy Cash. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to use mempool.space to more effectively send your Bitcoin transactions and make sure you're not overpaying if you don't have to. Stick around. All right, so um, here we are in mempool.space. Now you can use mempool.space if you don't have your own full node hosted. Otherwise, if you have something like a get umbral node, you can bring up the self-hosted version. But in this instance, we're gonna just use mempool.space. <clears throat> Here you can see on the right hand, this is the list of previous blocks that have been settled. I think this is the last three, six, eight blocks. And here we have the next eight blocks in the mem memory pool. So the way Bitcoin's blockchain works is that transactions roughly settle every 10 minutes. And the difficulty once every two weeks adjusts based on how much mining power has been going into it and how fast the blocks have been solved relative to the target 10 minute schedule. So. Right now, we are hitting blocks a little bit faster than the 10 minute interval. So next week, uh, look like we're gonna get a slight 5% adjustment as it's predicting right now, if this rate continues in difficulty to make it a little slower next time. So the mempool has been clearing a little bit faster because of that. So you've seen the fees come down. So uh, the way this works is it's a free market and if blocks have sufficient fees that are higher than your transaction, those will be processed in priority ahead of yours. And so in this case, if you wanna get on this block with absolute certainty, 681 sats will do it. <laughs> um, but also so will, you know, any of these 65 and 100. And so what you'll find is that these will change over time based on how long it's been since the last block. So because it's been 24 minutes since a block has occurred, there's a, a high demand for for these uh, for these transactions. So, but once a couple blocks get back on target, it'll come back down. So, you know, right now I can reasonably see, okay, eight in, in eight sats here, eight sats here, seven sats here, seven, seven, seven. So, you know, I can see the range if I click. And I think right here, based on the current state of the mempool, I would feel pretty comfortable sending a transaction at eight sats per byte. Uh, because what will happen is that we'll probably get two blocks in a quick succession. Just how the average is, you can see like in 692 or 592, 93 and 94, we had a block 39 minutes ago, 36 minutes ago and 35 minutes ago. And look how the fees dropped accordingly. It was 75 and then it was 65, then it was 11 because there were so many blocks that were solved that quick. So. Right now, because it's been almost a half an hour since a block, this is a much higher, but we should be able to get an eight sat per byte transaction in relatively soon in the next hour or so. Um, so that's what I wanted to show you guys. It's using mempool.space uh, to predict your uh, next sat per byte, uh, high confidence. Uh, you can see where the purging is and with the low priority, but these are reasonably uh, high. Uh, you know, if you put eight sats, nine sats in here now, uh, you can see even though the average is nine, it's still eight, uh, can get in there. So I uh, hope this helped. And if you like these videos, uh, subscribe and hit that bell so you get a notification when we post new ones as we'll be trying to get more regular posts. Uh, but thank you for tuning in to Galaxy Cash. You can check our website out at cashmoney.io. We'll see you soon.